In today's video, we're going to be talking about Ramipril, and I'm going to cover its uses, the pharmacology, side effects and dosage. Ramipril is an angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitor, which is a class of medication commonly prescribed for managing high blood pressure, otherwise known as hypertension, and other cardiovascular conditions. We're going to talk about the mechanism of action and other important details in today's video. So. In terms of the mechanism of action, ramipril exerts its therapeutic effects by inhibiting the activity of the angiotensin-converting enzyme in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. This system is a hormone system that plays a critical role in regulating blood pressure, fluid balance and electrolyte levels in the body. When blood pressure drops or blood volume decreases, the kidneys release an enzyme called renin. Renin acts on angiotensin, a precursor protein to form angiotensin 1. Angiotensin converting enzyme then converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor, which means it narrows blood vessels, and it's a stimulator of aldosterone released from the adrenal glands. The aldosterone promotes salt and water retention, which further contributes to increased blood pressure. By inhibiting this enzyme, angiotensin-converting enzyme, ramipril reduces the formation of angiotensin II, leading to vasodilation, which means widening of blood vessels, and decreased secretion of aldosterone. This results in reduced blood vessel constriction and a decrease in blood volume, ultimately lowering blood pressure. So in terms of the uses of ramipril, it's primarily used for the management of hypertension or high blood pressure and congestive heart failure. It's also prescribed to reduce the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attacks, strokes and other complications in patients at high risk due to diabetes, previous heart attacks or other cardiovascular diseases. In terms of the pharmacology of Ramipril, its route of administration is typically orally in the form of tablets or capsules. The drug is well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract after oral administration. In terms of the metabolism, Ramipril is converted into its active form Ramiprilat in the liver through hydrolysis of the Estra Pro drug. And in terms of elimination, both Ramipril and Ramiprilat are excreted primarily by the kidneys. There are some side effects in relation to Ramipril, but it's generally well tolerated. But like any medication, it may cause these side effects. So common side effects include coughing, dizziness or lightheadedness, fatigue, headache, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea and rash. Rare but more serious side effects may include severe allergic reactions, liver problems, kidney problems, low blood pressure and hyperkalemia, which means elevated potassium levels. If you experience severe or persistent side effects, then it's best to seek medical attention as soon as possible. The dosage of Ramipril depends on the individual's patient condition, response to treatment and other factors. Typically, the initial dosage for adults with hypertension is 2.5 to 5 mg once daily, with dose adjustments made as needed to achieve the desired blood pressure control. For other cardiovascular conditions, the dosage may vary, and it's essential to follow the prescribed instructions and regularly consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate monitoring. So we've made it to the end of the video. Leave a 100 emoji if you've made it all the way to the end. If you have any questions in relation to Ramipril, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.